Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Ableton Live Quick Tips. This time I want to show you a neat new little feature that was added in Live 12, and that is that we can now invert a selection. And this is really useful if we want to create variations in a MIDI clip, especially now with the MIDI transformers, or also here with the pitch tools, for example. And before we could only make a selection either, you know, by selecting things and so on, but this is much, much quicker. And before we had control A to select all or command A. And this new feature has a shortcut that follows this previous shortcut as well. And so let's quickly listen. So that we can put it into context with how we can quickly use this feature. And so let's say we want everything but this section here selected so we can make changes to those MIDI notes. And so what we can do now is select the MIDI notes we don't want selected and then either do a right click and choose invert selection. But you can also see that there's a shortcut available and that is for Mac, Shift and Command and A or for Windows, Shift, Control and A. So let's select this and now we can see this has been selected. This command, by the way, is also available through the edit menu and here invert selection. And now we can just quickly make changes. So for example, we could use the invert command not to be confused with the invert selection. So let's do this. And as you can see, this basically makes the lowest note, the highest note and vice versa and everything in between. And now let's do this. And we could also continue and just divide by two, for example. And as you can see, we can really quickly make complete changes so that we can get lots of variations from the initial MIDI clip. And then, of course, we could also use any of the MIDI transformer tools. Well, that's it already. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.